guys, it's Molly here and I'm going to be doing a quick little tutorial on how to use this Zoom website here for remote teaching. Hopefully we won't have to do this for too long and studios can be back up and running soon. But in the meantime, I think this is a great resource that we can use. So if you haven't signed up yet, just go ahead and hit that sign up. It's free button. And once you do that, it's going to take you through a couple prompts, make sure that your laptop is all good to go. It may download load a few things onto your laptop just to allow those to happen everything is safe I promise it's not going to cause any problems onto your computer iPad whatever it may be but by downloading those things it's going to allow you to use this website to its full potential and with saying that you do have the ability to use this on an iPad an iPhone or a laptop I think a laptop might be easiest for most teachers just because you're gonna have the ability to put it on a desk a table wherever it may be and have a lot more room on your webcam so you're just gonna go ahead and sign in here like so it's just gonna pull up my account right here but I'm gonna head over to meetings so once we go to meetings I had already two scheduled here uh, just as a little practice run so that I could get a feel for it as well but we're gonna schedule a new meeting so click on that little blue button there and from here, I'm going to title it as whatever it would be titled at my studio. And that's pretty much what you guys need to do as well. Just however the class is normally labeled on any of your schedules, your website, whatever it may be, just go ahead and label it the same way so that there's a little less confusion for dancers and parents. So we're going to do Nico Ballet. And then I'm also going to label it with me being the teacher as well, once again, just to completely clarify everything. So over here, you can go ahead and change when the class will be. So let's say that it is on Mondays at 4 p.m. And now that's all set up to go for next Monday. If you need to change um, how long the class is, all that info is gonna be right down here. So if it's an hour, or maybe if it's only a 45 minute class, 15 minute class, whatever it may be, you can just use all of these little drop down menus to choose whatever you need. Now you're just gonna go ahead and choose your time zone. It should be chosen for you already. And then I'm gonna hit this button for recurring meeting. Just so that it's a little bit easier on my end and I don't have to recreate a new class time every single week. This is just gonna allow dancers to keep the same link that you will see in a second and re-sign in for however long this break may be for us. So just go ahead and choose weekly and it's gonna repeat once a week on Mondays. So this is just, it's the option of either choosing it after occurrences or after an end date. So I just decided to go with that end date instead, but that can always be changed at a later time. Unclick this meeting password, you don't really need it. Um, and it's just gonna create more confusion, again, for dancers and parents if they have to keep track of a bunch of different passwords for every single class. Um, but you are going to want to click on for both the hosts and participants. So this is just allowing dancers to see you and you can see all of your dancers as well. So once again, with that being said, make sure your dancers have devices that you are able to see them on. Again, whether it be a laptop, iPad, iPhone, whatever is accessible to them, but it should be a quality enough camera that you're able to see them. And if not, maybe you can set something up on the side with that dancer if they're still trying to take class. I mean, there's a lot of different options in this time, but the better quality camera they have, the better you're gonna be able to see them, obviously. Now for this meeting options right here, just go ahead and hit enable join before host. Now all this is allowing your dancers to do is to sign in before you sign in. So say your class is at seven and you require dancers to sign in at 655 so that they're all set up and ready to go. And if there's any issues or problems, connection errors, whatever that may be, it's allowing them a little bit of buffer time before class is actually supposed to start. So from here, we have all these things nice and checked. Double check over it and we're gonna go ahead and hit save. Now this just created this meeting now and it's just gonna do a little summary of everything that you had just filled out on the last page. And just to show you guys, I'm going to go ahead and start the meeting just so you can see what it looks like. Now, unfortunately I don't have any dancers that are with me right now or a studio that I am using this for. I'm not gonna be able to show you what 
it looks like having split screens and multiple dancers on the page just because I don't have that ability right now. But if you do want to see what that looks like, there are some other tutorials online that you can go ahead and check out just so you can see how that screen is going to look. But I will show this to you guys right now. So as you can see, this is my face. Hi. And on the screen right here, we have invite, manage participants, share screen, chat, record, reactions. So. The main thing you're gonna to wanna to use on here is the share screen button. And you're gonna click this little menu right here and hit multiple participants can share simultaneously. So again, all that's doing is allowing those little boxes of all of your dancers to show up so that you're able to see everyone, everything that they're doing. If you need to give uh, corrections or anything that may be, just kind of making it a little more normal of a class rather than you just speaking to a laptop. With that being said, when they do the share screen and your dancers are signed in, have them mute their microphones. Now the reason that you're doing this is so that any little sound that is made on their end of things is not going to change who the main person talking is. So. Um, if you've ever been on a Google Hangout or big like Facebook chat or something along those lines, the person that's making noise currently is going to show up the biggest on screen. And you're always going to want the teacher to be the biggest on screen. So this is the reason that we're having everyone mute their microphones, just to make it a little less confusing and a little less crazy. Um, over here, you can choose to stop the video. Yeah, most of these things you're not going to have to worry about. And then manage participants. Again, it's only me on here right now. So this is where you can go ahead and mute things if you need to, um, if people are leaving, entering, all this is kind of going to be figured out more when you actually have dancers on, but utilize these buttons for sure. And then invite. So if we go back to our other page here, we had gotten the meeting all set up. If you go ahead and hit this copy invitation button. So all I did was I just went back to my Google, um, my Google Chrome screen, exactly where I left off. So as you see at the top, this is where I hit that uh, manage meeting button and start meeting button. And if you hit this right here, copy invitation, all you need to do is hit copy meeting invitation and then send this out to your parents or your dancers, whoever you're communicating with the most, just like you would a normal schedule change. And all this is doing is sending them the link to be able to join the meeting on their own from their location, wherever they may be, as well as add it to their calendar, a few other things, see exactly when the classes are gonna be and how long they're gonna be lasting. Um, so it's, it's best to send that out as soon as you can, just so that they always have it and then let them know to refer back to it when they need to sign in. And if not, um, um, you can go ahead and hit invite from here. We have some of uh, some of my friends on this page over here. So that's pretty much how you get your meetings going, how you get your classes going, all of that kind of stuff. Now we're gonna go back to this page and just really quick, I'm gonna touch on plans and pricing. Now, pretty much every studio has multiple classes going on at one time. So you have multiple rooms. With this website, the only issue is that you can only have one host at a time unless you go ahead and sign up for this pro or this business option. So just choose whichever one is best for your studio, discuss it amongst yourself. Um, so for business, you can have you can only have a minimum of 10 hosts. So I'm not sure how many teachers you guys have. So maybe the pro would be best for you guys. Um, but just check out that info before you get all signed up and ready to go so that you can run multiple classes at one time. Now, I think that is all the info that I have for you guys. Um, if you guys have any questions, please reach out to myself or Adrian, and we'll try to get that all figured out for you. I really, really hope that this helped, and I hope that studios can be back up and running soon. But again, if not, this is an amazing option that we have. And thank God we have the technology that we do so that we can deal with these crazy times like we are. But yeah, thank you so much, guys. And... Hopefully everything works out well for you. See ya.